Hi! Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Turning Point Weekend Series video. For Saturday, March the 10th, and Sunday, March the 11th, 2023. Episode 490. It's supposed to be 491, but we missed a day the other day. But, um... Today is the second installment of the Spring Forward Weekend Series. And today we're going to be talking about, for this one, we're going to be talking about mentoring. Um, hope, hope you've had a wonderful Lord's Day Sunday. I'm looking forward to a fresh week this week with the, with the cultivation on Friday of St. Patrick's Day. Where everybody wears green and turns Irish <laughs> for a day. But um we're gonna be beginning with Second Timothy chapters two, verse two. Our recommended reading is Psalm seventy one, verses seventeen and eighteen. Our turning point is from Charles Swindoll. And in our Bible reading for the weekend has been Joshua 21 through 24. So in that one, I hope you read 21 and 22 yesterday and then read 23 and 24 today. Have read it or haven't read it yet. But you know the deal. So hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to leave a like anywhere on the video. Remember, like. Likes help the video reach other people and other things. Um, remember the like challenge. Go back to the morning video, this, mo this morning's video for explanation. Um, leave me a regard of what you did this weekend. A remark. What happened this weekend? Did you enjoy your weekend? You're looking forward to another another fresh week for something great to happen. Um, inching closer and closer to that day I turn turn another year older, which is a little over five weeks away. Five weeks. That's thirty seven days. Because five weeks is 35, so five weeks and two days to my birthday. So, but, um, subscribe if you do, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friends to help me reach hopefully the 100 subscriber mark by my birthday, April the 18th. But if not, I'll settle for 50 to 60. So at least get it, get it up to 50 to 60. That would be a feasible thing for five weeks. And then hopefully have the 100, hit the 100 mark by my three-year, my three-year mark at the end of May. So, which will be another, another month after my birthday. So, but, um, but if you'll, if you'll do that for me, I would greatly appreciate each and every one that helps me get to that, get to those points more than you'll ever imagine. So. So without further ado, let's spring forward number two and learn about mentoring. Second Timothy 2.2 2 says, And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. And our recommended reading today is Psalms, Psalm chapter 71, verses 17 and 18, which says, Oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and to this day I declare your wondrous works. 18. Now also when I am I am old and gray-headed, oh God, do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who is to come. That's some good verses there. So nothing will help you spring forward in your Christian faith more than mentoring. Maybe the word intimidates you, but it's simply doing what Paul wanted Timothy to do. 
Perhaps there's a lonely young person who would welcome a kind word or a class of children to teach or a child or grandchild who would memorize a Bible verse if encouraged to do so. Yeah. If there's a kid's team that needs a coach, a local school needs a volunteer, a college class that would enjoy some snacks, giving you an opportunity to mingle with them. Every church needs workers, and every worker can find a way to, to disciple someone else. Fill yourself with scripture, grow in wisdom and confidence, and develop good insights. Then ask God to use you to encourage someone else in their spiritual formation. And adopt this biblical prayer today. O oh God, do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who is to come. And that's Psalm 71, verse, that's verse 18 of the verses we read for the recommended reading from Psalm 71. So Charles Swindoll says, even the scars of past abuse and injury can be the means of bringing healing to another. What wonderful opportunities to make disciples. Hmm. Okay. So I don't, I'm hopefully if the book, if that book is still at church or that church today, I hope we brought it home. We're supposed to have the church anniversary celebration for one service. Just a, just a church service. There's no evening service. There's no Sunday school. It's just going to be one main service at 10 o'clock. So, and I'm supposed to, the choir is supposed to sing too, and I'm supposed to be in the choir. But... The way I'm feeling right now, I probably won't go. I might just pull it up on on the computer or whatever and watch it live stream it so I can be there to support it but I won't be there in person but I'm starting feeling good right now so but hopefully I got it and win if not you'll find out to, in tomorrow's video if I, if I win or not but um but I hopefully gonna if, if I do go, I hopefully that book is still there. I'll get it and bring it home, and then by the afternoon video tomorrow, you'll know. I'll be able to update you for the rest of the week, and I'll do it, do it like that. So, but starting off tomorrow for your fantastic Monday, March the. 13th, we will be talking about part one of episode 1014 or, or episode 1014 or 1014 part one, a voice from heaven, Matthew 3, 16 and, 16 and 17 from Jeffrey P. Tompkins at seven. And at one part, 1014 part two, we will be running for what matters. From Monica LaRose, derived from Hebrews 11, 39 through 12, verse 3. And then we'll see what the turning point is tomorrow. By the time the afternoon video, you'll, you'll find out. So, if I've got the book, you'll see the book in my hand. I got the book. I got the book now. So, I won't have to worry about waiting so late to get these videos done during the week. So... I can go right on ahead and do them before midnight, and I'll have them done. So I'll be able to do them better. So, but with that said, I love you. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God, and He'll keep you safe. And all you say and do in twenty twenty three and beyond. And, and until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back tomorrow for another fantastic Monday and see what God has in store for us tomorrow. What will it be? 
come back and find out. So we'll hope to see you there. So God bless. God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> so until then, me and baby Yoda, we're out for tonight. So have a great rest of your evening and we'll see you tomorrow for another fantastic Monday. So, bye-bye, everybody. Have a great, wonderful rest of your evening, and we'll see you tomorrow for another fantastic Monday. What's the lessons going to be about? Come back and find out. Ha, ha, ha. You heard it from him. Come back and find out what tomorrow's is going to be all about. So, we'll see you then. Goodbye.